Mr. Thomas, the same question to you, and that is the nation's budget deficit and the idea that perhaps cutting some entitlements, Medicare, Medicaid, Social Security, may be in line to help balance the budget. Uh, is this something that you would also pursue? Uh, are there ways to cut those entitlements, or are you like Mr. Pesca here and saying, let's not do that, let's find other ways to help balance the budget? Right, you might remember when the Paul Ryan budget had come out, I immediately put out a statement because it basically got Medicare and Medicaid. I believed that was wrong and I spoke out immediately. You might also remember that Justin Amash didn't believe his budget cut enough, fast enough. I thought that was an extreme position. And so I will continue to fight for Medicare, Medicaid, and Social Security. But let me give you another example of what we can do to be able to help our spending and our debt. There are loopholes, tax loopholes that corporations use throughout, uh, throughout the country. And right now, if we eliminate these tax loopholes and the subsidies given, we can save about a trillion dollars. I think that's a start. And you don't hear my opponent talking about the loopholes. Why? I'll submit to you tonight that he holds right now $250,000 worth of investments in Exxon. They are one of the biggest oil companies reaping record profits that are receiving these incentives through loopholes. I will immediately call for Exxon to not receive these incentives and will make sure they play by the rules. Mr. Pesca, I know that you want to rebut. That comment is preposterous uh, and it's insulting. I'm, I'm very offended by that, Mr. Thomas. The fact of the matter is these investments that he refers to uh, were set up uh, by my father, who's now uh, in his 90s. Uh, Mr. Thomas, I have voted consistently uh, against uh, oil drilling, against uh, tax benefits for oil companies. Nobody has ever assailed my integrity before today. You owe me an apology. You have absolutely no reason to make any kind of statement that my views on public policy are in any way affected by investments that my father may have made years ago. You really need to apologize now. But we will move on to the next. I can rebut. You would like to rebut this. Yeah, sure. I think values are really important. I think integrity is very important. Yesterday we had the first debate, and Mr. Pesca believed that his personal investments should not be up for public scrutiny. And I hear it. But I also believe strongly that the U.S. House Ethics Committee requires all federal candidates to say exactly where they're investing to prevent any kind of misunderstanding, to make sure that we're open and that we're transparent. These are public records. They're public investments. And I don't think they match core democratic values at all. You know, and me, time is up there, and I'm sorry, we uh, I, I each, have to respond each to that. candidate. Uh, my, my, my integrity has been assailed here. It's one thing to say, sir, that your investment should be made public. That's fine. But it's a completely other thing to say that your votes are being influenced. That's wrong to say. You have no evidence of that. And we're out of rebuttals at this point, Mr. Thomas. You've, you have now all, both of you have used up your rebuttals, so go ahead and. Sure. I think it's really important because right now on his website, Mr. Pesca says he was ranked consistently at 100% by the League of Conservation Voters. We produced last night a League of Conservation questionnaire and scorecard that showed him ranked at 55%, which is a failing grade at Kennewick Hills Public Schools where I went. And so let me be very, 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 very clear. I will be fighting for the environment. You don't have to worry about where my investments are, or where my heart is. I will make sure that we're looking out for our Great Lakes, and we're making sure that, like on the Kalamazoo River, we don't have another oil spill, where an 80-inch long gap was in a pipe and no regulation. And a reminder to both of you, no more rebuttals. So we